Okay, we've got all the pieces lined up here. Let me just zoom in on the table so that you can see what's going on. All right, here we go. So we've got these pieces pre-assembled. We've got the two motors, a bunch of T-nuts, a bunch of uh, mounting screws. So we have to make sure these are facing the right way. So I'm going to turn one this way and one that way to the assembly. Um, this one says Y, but I guess they're going to for the plastic here. And this one says X and it goes with the screws. So we're looking at what these patterns are on these plates so we get them the right way. The X and Y are actually fully identical. They're just marked differently slightly. So that's those. Um, use the M4 by 8 while well, they're 9, but to mount the motors. So let's get that done. Here's my screwdriver gone. There it is. So you mount the motors quite simply. Screw them in. I suggest you don't do it up tight till you got them all in. Just to allow for any play. Now, as I said, even though these motors are marked X and Y, they're not actually from a reality because of the nature of what they're connecting to. There is no X and Y. They actually have to work together to get X and Y. Make sure you use the um, eight millimeter long ones, not the 10 millimeter long because you'll bottom, bottom them out as I just discovered. I picked up the wrong ones. So I'm just gonna flip them around. Okay, here are our two pieces now built as per instructions. Well, bless the cogs, of course. Let's just turn these around from my perspective and put the gears on them. So this one is the... This way. So this one needs the teeth in. This one needs the teeth out. Uh, looks like they sit... Probably going to have to just... Gently nip them just so they stay in place for now because they probably will have to be adjusted to suit the uh, Belts once they're all put in place. So I'll just nip them up gently That's that done. So those are now ready uh, we need to put Some t-nuts on the two Motor mounts and the two pulley mounts. So there's three on each of these, so that's three, six, and there's two on each of the motors. So that's those two. And we will be using M4 screws. So let me just get those attached and I'll be right back. So unfortunately my battery had gone flat here, so I'm just over dubbing a little bit. Um, what I'm showing you here is that we have to mount the two pulleys and the two motor mounts on each of the corners of the printer frame. So the ones I'm just picking up now are for the front of the frame and they're the pulleys, the actual motors mount at the back of the frame. So you can see there that the print head is actually facing towards the upper left corner which is the front of the frame right now. And uh, all you do is you take the two T-nuts that are on each of the objects that we're mounting, you drop them into the slots, uh, as I'm showing you there, and then you just go back and tighten up the screws. So just checking each of the things here as I go, showing you where they mount. Um, I think I've now screwed them up, as I uh, probably just said. Um, I'll be right back with screwing them up. So that's all done and tightened down. Now they're right on the corner. Uh, one of the things I did note here is that the, um, the angles between the motor and the various pulleys is not perfect 90 degrees. So this may cause an issue uh, once we start using the printer when you get toward the edges due to that change in angle. And when we do a summary and first prints and testing, we'll have a look at that and. Uh, examine it, but for now um, we're just going to assemble it exactly as the instructions say. 
So what I've done here is that the motor mounts, the edge of the acrylic plastic, I've lined up perfectly with the edge of the extrusions so that they're uh, not sticking proud or anything and you get a good tight connection without losing too much of the integrity of the acrylic because that's all that's holding these motors. There's nothing on the bottom half of the motor mounts to keep them against the extrusions or anything. Uh, but that should be perfectly strong enough based on what we're doing here. It's not like it's moving a massive load or anything. So uh, acrylic is just fine for that kind of thing. Okay, so we have this done now. Let's move on. Let's just zoom out a little bit again. And what we need now, looks like we're doing ooh, belt assembly. So we need two belts, four cable ties, and the frame. Cool. So let's just zoom down here. Zoom in. And see what we've got to do. Now this is one of those things that you need to be careful of. I think, I'm not sure if that shows it. No, it doesn't. And there are some images on here that help, I think, show how to run the belt. Yeah, the belts. So it shows it's going from one side to the outside of the pulley, down to the motor, back up and it's going to go all the way to the back around and down to the other motor and this is a video so let's just play that as you can see around down back up all the way to the rear pulley and around down the other side and back to the head. Now I think what's important here and then you've got the other side doing the same thing. Yeah. So if I just bring this back, oh there we go, it's all done. Now what I see as an issue here personally and we'll, we'll build it exactly as it says it for now is these angles. I really don't think these angles should be there because the whole precision of the printer relies on things being a right angle. So it's going to move the belt um, so many millimeters to make so many millimeters of movement on the head, whether it's in the X or the Y or whatever combination. With these at an angle, the further away it is from the one that's pulling, then the more accurate it's going to be. But as it gets closer to here, you can see that this angle is going to get more and more acute to the point where it's going to be nearly 45 degrees and with a 45 degree angle if you try to go you know from an expectation of one or two millimeters to the right you're actually going to go half of that because it's at the pulley the belt is going to be moving at a 45 degree angle so just a bit of trigonometry makes it pretty obvious that it may end up going in the wrong direction so that might be a modification we'll have to do these are plexiglass so they're really easy to drill uh, I don't know how easy it might be to move um, these pulleys, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to build it exactly as it shows it right now again, as I said. And um, we'll build it, get it all done, and then we'll look at if there's anything we can improve on it. So, let's go over to the, uh, let's go over to the machine and get these belts run. They're just cable tied around as well on these ends. So, that's pretty straightforward. Okay. So again, a little bit of uh, mix up with my videoing here. I've run the belts exactly as I just showed you in the previous piece of the video. Um, and what I'm looking at right now is again, um, reiterating the feeding directions for them. And you can see there quite clearly, even though the head is uh, about mid place, there are quite acute angles from the left and right gantry pulleys to the head where it's mounted. So that really needs to be, I think, fixed at some point or other. A couple of people that I've seen that have already built these have actually made that modification. Um, it won't affect things much that you're building in the middle of the gantry, 
but if sorry in the middle of the build plate but if you're building anything that extends out towards the edges uh, you will probably start to get slight inaccuracies creep in um, we'll find out when we start doing some printing in the meantime um, you know the belt I, when I put the belts on I tensioned them by holding some pressure on the middle of the where it feeds into the head and uh, where I wrap it in, pull the belt tight, and then just use the cable ties to hold it down securely. That works very, very well. Just make sure that you've got the teeth um, going into each other so that you can actually have the mesh, and therefore they're going to be very, very tight, even with a cable tie. So that completes the belt assembly. Now we're going to go on to the next video where we will look at putting in the uh, build plate and the Z axis.